We begin with a closer look at the ruling by the state Supreme Court about the Heritage Act. Now, instead of requiring a two thirds vote from lawmakers to change or remove historic monuments, just a simple majority is needed. But as Julia Kaufman tells us, one lawmaker vows to not let any votes happen at all. Under the new rules of the Heritage Act, the South Carolina House and Senate would simply need a majority vote to remove or change historical markers. What we need is for Republicans and Democrats to come together, take a stand, do what's right, and say the legacy of this man is not the legacy that we want to honor on the state house grounds. Tom O'Brien runs the Take Tillman Down campaign. He's calling on lawmakers to remove the Ben Tillman statue, calling it a blatant representation of racism. The culmination of his achievement in South Carolina, he holds it in his hand, is this Constitution of 1895 which disenfranchised black voters and undid the majority of things that occurred during Reconstruction. But House Speaker Jay Lucas says he won't let the discussion of the removal of monuments happen. In a statement to News 19, he says the South Carolina House of Representatives will not engage in or debate the specifics of public monuments, memorials, state buildings, road names, or any other historical markers during my time as Speaker. In his position as House Speaker, Lucas controls the House calendar and decides which proposed legislation makes it to the floor for debate. We're really Brett Barry of the American Heritage Association is against removing statues. We're really glad to hear what Speaker uh, Lucas has said, and uh, we really appreciate his, his leadership uh, on the issue. He's unhappy the court changed the Heritage Act's two-thirds rule. But luckily, the core of the law was, was upheld. Meanwhile, activists like O'Brien say they won't give up. My hope is that we can take politics out of this and those that have shown that they're willing to do what's right, even if it's costly, will make a move to remove what is an offense to so many South Carolinians. In Columbia, Julia Kaufman, News 19, WLTX.